Hello. Hello. Hello and hello. Dory Cruz here, your life applications officer. I have a question to ask you, and I need you to do me a big, giant favor. Okay. I need you to do me a big, giant favor. Is the electric guitar just for rock heads and metal heads? Or is it for blues music, pop music, soft rock music, classical music, jazz, fusion, indie, uh, classical? Why well, are you say classical? You name. I just got done watching a set of videos. It must have been about four or five of them. I swear to God, it looked like the same white man with different levels of weight, different tattoos and hairstyles, playing all the same song. And I'm starting to get a headache. My head is hurting. And it wasn't a concert. It was a freaking car I'm sorry, not car. Guitar review. I don't get headaches. I don't. I don't I don't get headaches. But after all this distortion and all these hours of oh god, I'm getting a headache. I'm getting a headache. I'm dropping. Uh, It's not like I don't like rock music. Heavy metal, eh, it depends on who's playing it. Um, I got to admit, when I was younger, I liked a lot of what today I would call noise. But even what I call noise that I used to like back in the 80s, today I would call less noise than the noise that's going on today. My God, man, give me a break. This guy just got done playing a riff. I was looking up guitars. Two videos of his. Two of them was from the same, the same dude. God. The guitars that I was looking for reviews on were headless guitars. You know, no head. You know, like uh, Alan Holdsworth kind of thing. Wasn't looking up rock music, wasn't looking up heavy metal music, but Alan, Alan Holdsworth is not really a metalhead. But these guys that are reviewing the Alan Holdsworth guitars and the Carvin Kessel, I think that's what you call it, guitars, these guys, they play, they all play the same thing. I got a headache. Oh my God. I can appreciate a good, you know, distortion, distorted riff. I, I can appreciate that. But when you're doing a guitar review, don't spend the majority of the video showing people how well you can play distorted guitar. This guy just got done playing two videos of riffs that sounded like the devil just broke free from hell and just started pissing all over everybody. I'm serious. I felt, I, I started seeing visions of pentagrams, man. Like, like I started seeing pictures of Baphomet. I started looking behind me to see if there was a Baphomet, you know, demon behind me or something, man. I mean, come on. And it was loud. And he, he spent more time showing off his chops than he did reviewing the daggone guitar.
and I have yet to know out of five videos. Now, one of them videos has told me what the guitar actually sounds like. See, this is the way it is on YouTube. If somebody's doing a guitar review and they're doing a review on single coils, they'll play some funky stuff. Okay, especially if they're trying to sell you a guitar. They'll, they'll do a review on some funky, funky, poppish stuff. Okay, you want cleaner, you want cleaner tones, look up reviews on single coil guitars. But if you are like looking for guitars, anything like anything that comes close to a Les Paul or any kind of Gibson. Okay, are Gibson guitars just for rock music and heavy metal music? Or are they for the other styles of music too? But even if you, but even single coil guitars, it's like, oh, we got to show you how well we can rock and we can, we can, we can, we can take these single coils to the maximum. But most of the time, you can tell if a guitar is a cheap guitar because they give you less headache when they review cheap guitars. But this guy was reviewing a cheap guitar. The guitar cost less than $300. He wanted to show you how good it could handle distortion. Dude, I get it. I get it. Now, on the second video, play something else, man. Like, it's like he was playing different corners of the same song over and over again. It was a da 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 I started to plug in my guitar and show you what he was playing because I just got done playing something similar to that before I turned the video on. I said, wow, that looked like something I was playing with. Only it wasn't so loud and distorted. I was playing it in like a light distorted uh, modulation thing going on with the chorus and the reverb. This guy had his guitar all the way up, had the amp all the way up. The, the, the ceilings were sweating. Sweat was coming down on his head. He was sweating. Okay, I'm getting a headache. There's images of Batlamat attacking people. Oh, God. Give all you guitar experts, do me a favor. Do me a favor. When you review guitars, start off with the clean tone. Because the guitar itself is not that highly distorted. Even if you buy a $4,000 guitar, it's not that highly distorted. Compared to that nonsense coming out of your amp. Do me a favor. I got a headache. Do me a favor. Start off with the clean tone. If you're gonna, if you want to show how the humbuckers actually carry or hold the sound, start off with the clean tone. Because if I buy a guitar that got two humbuckers on it, I want to know how clean the humbuckers are. That, that, that everybody knows the humbuckers are there to. To be able to hold the distortion and give less feedback. Duh! We know that, knucklehead. But we want to hear how the humbuckers sound. Because when you buy a guitar and it's your personal guitar or one of your many personal guitars. You want to be able to play that guitar in more than just, you know, uh, some Steve Vai stuff or some Inway Malsteam or... Or, or some Eddie Van Halen, or, uh, you know, some heavy metal crazy, you know, uh, stuff like Ozzy Osbourne or something. You want to play it when you're in the mood to play something soft, too. Humbuckers are not just for distorted sound. And, and the truth for that is the fact that humbuckers, just like single coils, after so much of abuse by the distortion will start to crackle. And then you need to change your pickups. 
I've never had that problem. A lot of metalheads that I've known have that problem very frequently. They're always changing pickups or getting new pickups, the same new pickup, because they blow them out with all that distortion. God! It would take a real expensive $5,000 guitar to really hold all that, that noise. And that's exactly what you're playing is noise. Do me a favor, all you guitar experts. Do me a favor. Start off with the clean tone. Whether you're playing single coil or humbuckers, whether you're whether you're reviewing a cheap guitar or a very expensive guitar, start off with the clean tone. I don't understand why this is this isn't freaking common sense. I don't understand. Let me say that again. I don't understand why this isn't common sense to you. Start off with the clean tone. Okay, and then as you are testing, turn the distortion up a little bit at a time and play a small riff and then turn it up a little bit more and then a little bit more and then a little bit more. See, see how the distortion handles the humbuckers or the humbuckers handle distortion rather. Okay, move on. Now let's go back to the clean mode. If you want to do a, if you want to show off your heavy metal and your and your and your uh, you know your ability to play rock and roll, then why don't you put that in the title of the video? I'm getting tired of like I go to a guitar a guitar review and it's like the dude didn't spend any time talking about the guitar. He just he just woke the devil up from his sleep. That's all he did. I don't know what these guys review. Five videos, three different headless guitars. And what do I get? A headache. I can't remember, I can't remember what the specs were. Because everything was just loud. And over distort it. Start off with the clean tone. Turn the distortion up gradually for each pickup. Okay. And in the freaking video. Don't spend a whole nine minutes or more. Okay. Blasting the freaking computer into a virus or blasting your your amp into crackled speakers or crackled pickups or, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Always, you should always start off clean and gradually turn up a little bit of crunch at a time and let the viewer listen and see how the humbuckers change for each setting, how each setting affects the humbuckers. This stuff about picking up a guitar and say, here, let's hear what it sounds like. And then, <laughs> God, I got a headache. My throat hurts. I'm trying to imitate that crap. God. I think I'm going to need a glass of water. I'm going to need to lay down. Thanks to guitar reviews by these metalheads. You know what they ought to do? They ought to have acoustic guitar players do electric guitar reviews. Or have people that don't like Distortion, don't like rock and roll or heavy metal to do guitar reviews. More people will listen and listen longer. Let me say that again. That was pretty good. What they need to do is have people that are anti-rock and roll and anti-heavy metal.
do more guitar reviews. Okay. You'll get more out of the review that way. And people will learn more and listen longer. But how much you want to bet in the middle of most of these reviews that I've listened to today, somebody had to opt out of that nonsense because it was just too loud and too much. That 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 that, that, that this guy was was doing an eight string headless guitar. The guy's very talented. Just because he's doing heavy metal and I'm not a metal head, I, that doesn't mean I don't see talent. The guy is very talented. But you could tell from the tattoos and the earrings that he was wearing, the dude was the dude had more on him than a woman does. The dude gets up in the morning and makes himself up more than the average woman does, okay? He probably spends more time on his hair and his ears and his piercings and his makeup and everything more than the average woman does, okay? He was talented, but you can tell that he don't know nothing about any other kind of music beside heavy metal and rock and roll. If I had to say it, play something soft. Play some, play some BB King. Play some, uh, uh, play some Eric Johnson for God's sake. Play, play some, uh, play some soft. Play some, um, what is the, the Charlton guy, Joe Pass. Play some jazz, man. I guarantee you, he don't know nothing about that kind of music. Guarantee you. You know. I noticed when I was doing a review, because this is going to be my next guitar in the upcoming year or two, I'll be purchasing myself a Epiphone Blues Hawk. That's right, I said it. Epiphone Blues Hawk. Okay. I notice when they do reviews on the Epiphone Blues Hawk, and there's a lot of them, I notice that only a couple people cranked up the distortion when they did the Epiphone Blues Hawk. That tells me that um, a lot of people were afraid that the Epiphone Blues Hawk would embarrass them on the on playing rock and roll and uh, heavy metal because they figure it's not meant for that kind of music because of the F holes and the the P nineties, I guess. Um, I love the reviews because the guys that are playing the music for those reviews play more styles of music other than rock and roll and heavy metal. Okay. It must be a white thing because there's not enough black folks doing guitar reviews and uh, when they do guitar reviews I might have only seen a couple here and there that actually use over distorted rock and roll or heavy metal to show a guitar review. Most of them play blues or funk or pop or jazz, you know. And I don't know, maybe it's a black thing, but the the, the I'm getting a headache with all of these guys. Let me tell you something. When you do a guitar review, all the music that you play. The sounds that are coming out of the instrument are not all about you and what you like. It's about the people that would buy the guitar. Do guys that like softer music buy double humbuckers, three humbuckers, two humbuckers in a single coil? Yes, they do. 
So why, you know, you know what I'm saying, do, do, do people that play gospel music or soft Christian music or Hawaiian music or jazz or pop or fusion or whatever, do they play Les Pauls? Yes, they do. Do they like Les Pauls? Can they use a Les Paul? Can you use a Les Paul to play jazz music? Yes, you can. Jazz music sounds great on a Les Paul. But it's like, oh, we're doing a guitar review. Somewhere in there, you got it in your head that we're doing a heavy metal rock and roll review. No, 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 no. That's not what you said in the title description. You said guitar review. When I think of the guitar, I don't naturally think, oh, God, let me go get the Aleve or some Motrin or something, okay, and take my, take my pain medication because this is going to be loud. And this is going to be crazy. That's not the way I think about it when you say guitar review. I think of I'm going to hear something on that guitar that I haven't heard on other guitars. But if everything is rock and roll and heavy metal and it's loud and distorted. And let me tell you something else. Rock and roll, maybe heavy metal is, but rock and roll is not all about distortion. Rock and roll is still rock and roll, even if it's played in a clean tone. Rock and roll is, is about the chords that you use and the strums that you use on those chords. The 4-4 four, four time, the 6-8 time, the time that you play those chords in. That's rock and roll, not the distortion. The distortion is a bonus Rock and roll starts off with the type of chords that you use. I can pick up my guitar right now and play a progression of first, four, flat seven, and flat six, I think. Or is it just six? Anyway, I can play a chord progression on my guitar right now of... The typical chord progression, and I can play in front of any white boy, and he'll say, that's rock and roll. Because not all rockers use over-distorted guitars to, 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 to express their love for rock and roll. There's a lot of rock heads out there that don't use over-distorted guitars, like Eric Johnson. Eric Johnson does not use an over-distorted guitar. He uses a lot of modulation for a lot of his music, and then the other half he does use lightly distorted um, music, especially now that he's getting older. Um, but do me a favor. Stop the noise. Because if you want to talk about rock and roll or heavy metal, then you should say that in the description. But if you're going to do a guitar review, stop the bloody noise, man. Because a lot of people are listening to you and they're getting a headache, especially when you do 17, 30 minutes of you making noise. And to somebody that's not a freaking metal, heavy metal lover, that is noise. It's like what rap music is to me. I can stomach about 1%, 2% of rap music. But a whole album of you talking to a beat, okay, I got a headache. And rap music and heavy metal have that in common. They both give you a headache in the same perimeter of time. Like, like halfway into the song, it's like, okay, Hit the amp. Hit. Turn off the. Turn. Turn it off. Turn. Turn it off. God. Jesus. Oh Lord. Do me a favor. Start off with the clean tone, and gradually add the distortion. 
stop the video once you get your point across. You want to practice, you want people to look at your rock and roll chops, your heavy metal chops. Put that in the description and strum away, baby. But don't say guitar review when it's really, hey, look how well I can play a heavy metal review. Look how well I can play Van Halen review. Look how well I can play Steve Vai review. That's what you ought to call it. You said guitar review. This is not just a distorted instrument. It's not a distorted instrument until you add something to it that is distorted. By itself, it is not a distorted instrument. might have a little bit of crunch to it, but it's not distorted. So therefore, hello, common sense. You said guitar review. That means that the clean tone is more important than the distorted tone. That means that the, the humbucker, even the humbucker, putting the humbucker in crunch mode, if the tail, that sound without distortion is more important than distorted sound itself. Because you're doing a guitar review. You're not doing a heavy metal rock and roll review. Don't get it twisted. Okay? Do me a favor. Stop the noise. Okay? And stick to the mission. God bless you. I'm D. Roy Cruz, your life application officer. This has been fun. Now I'm going to go take me some Motrin. Just these... The last five guitar reviews got me feeling like a woman on her period. I got to go take me some Motrin. Talk to you later. God bless.